Creating a management-friendly HTML report with SAS ODS markup, style sheets, and JavaScript by Rosalie Flam Zalkman and Robert Mann for the Center for Addiction and Mental Health, Toronto, Ontario. Many government programs such as CAMH's Ontario Student Drug Use and Health Survey and the U.S. Census Bureau's American Community Survey are delivered at multiple locations utilizing client questionnaires to collect data. After collection, the data are analyzed using SAS or other statistical software. The results are detailed in paper reports which are presented to various departments and made available to the public. We present an electronic report in the form of a standalone active HTML document as an alternative to these traditional paper reports. We are able to integrate multiple individual HTML tables, as output from SAS, into a single, portable, easy-to-navigate HTML document. This is done through the use of a single shared common style sheet, active HTML, and JavaScript menu-based navigation. The resultant document facilitates quick access to and easy review of over 100 frequency and statistics tables, enabling rapid assimilation of the presented data. Using SAS, the PROC FREAK statement generates the distribution of client responses by site for each question. In the example electronic report used in this video, Answers fall under one of the following categories, strongly disagree, disagree, neutral, agree, and strongly agree. The output files of Proc Freak for all questions are then merged into a single file. The SAS tag set slidebar defined by the Proc template statement generates the interlock slidebars shown in the frequency tables. The different widths for each category in the slidebars are the percentage values generated by Proc Freak. The style survey is defined by the PROC template statement to establish the attributes of the style sheet associated with each table in the electronic report. Attributes of the style sheet include background and foreground color for header and data, among other things. Upon opening the report, the frequency distribution main page displays the questionnaire. Underneath the questions, the visually enhanced frequency table with interlocking slidebars is shown. By default, the table corresponding to the first question is presented. Clicking on any question brings forward the frequency table for the selected question. This frequency table contains the distribution of client feedback for that question from all sites. Clicking on question 6, we can quickly see that the majority of clients across all sites strongly agree with the question statement, as indicated by the preponderance of blue. It is important to note that due to active HTML, all tables are already loaded upon opening the document. Clicking on a link simply hides the currently presented table and displays the selected table. To access the statistics main page, simply click on the To Statistics button next to the document header. Upon doing this, the button's label will change to read To Questionnaire. To navigate back to the Frequency Distribution main page, simply press this button again. Featured within the statistics main page is a self-generating JavaScript scroll bar matrix menu. The dynamic nature of the menu allows a great flexibility in displaying a variety of parameters. Here, the menu's width consists of multiple measures while the menu's height is made up of different site locations. Users can scroll through the matrix menu using the navigation tools on the right. From the top of the menu, users can reach the bottom by clicking on End. If at the bottom of the menu, they can quickly go to the top by clicking on Top. Clicking Page Down or Page Up moves through the menu one page at a time. Clicking on Down or Up moves the menu up or down one entry at a time. The menu is followed by a table of statistics for a particular measure from a single site location. The default table upon first navigating to this page is of the first measure from the first site. Clicking on any measure for a site, for example measure 2 at site D, will present the table of comparative statistics for that measure from that site. Here, various statistics presented are compared to the regional and state information. In conclusion, we are able to integrate SAS output of multiple individual HTML tables into a single, portable, easy-to-navigate HTML document. This is done through the use of a single common style sheet, active HTML, and a JavaScript menu-based navigation system. 
This resultant document supports quick access to any of the tables contained within the report using any industry standard web browser with document object model or DOM support. Over 100 tables can be easily stored, accessed, and distributed with more convenience and at a fraction of the cost of paper reports. By foregoing the use of images, our active HTML document becomes truly portable. It can be emailed, viewed directly on a user's tablet slash desktop, or hosted on the internet or an intranet server 